All right, we are back after the rain delay for the second half of the Bucks and Sharks B team game. Ain't got nothing against our kid, but why there is somebody 14 year old? No, man, he got it lit. She was 16. They, you know, he older, over in his 20s, whatever it was. No. But it's like every day in the hood, that's happening every day in the hood. No doubt about it. Young girls is, 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 is dating older guys. Parents, parents are letting their young daughters date older guys. Back in the days in the 60s and 50s. You know, and, and see, exactly. Back in the days, you know, when you first got out of slavery, mothers and fathers married their daughters off to older men with land. When you go back to your great grandparents, if they ain't got no income in the house like that, young people, it's like asking your mom or your grandmother. How they had twelve kids. Yeah, yeah, how they had twelve kids because your grandma, when she was a baby, her her mother had her when she was sixteen. You know. Yeah, society changes our mentality. Yeah, thing. All of you. So you say, "Oh no, that's just pedophile." No, well, in Africa, you know, yeah, in Africa, you got kings that's married to eight-year-old girls and have babies. Right off the bat, the sharks come out and score first in the second half. Yeah, you got kings in Africa, man, with eight-year-old daughters, eight-year-old wives. You know, with, with, they're just pregnant by babies in, in other countries too, so it's not just a black thing. Yeah, I know. It's just a different thing. Way yeah. They're probably, you know what I'm saying, injecting them. What they got out of No, they have the sex with you. They have the yeah. they, they have a life. But, but see, out there, it's, it's, it's no law. It, it's no law. They So they've got like 10 to 15 wives. I understand. Some yeah, older, some younger. Though, you know. <laughs> she can be married, but I had to wait, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No to me, that's, 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 that's too young, 8, 9, 10, 11 year old, 12 years old, even if they're over, they say they can't get pregnant, but they shouldn't be tampered with then, because they're not mentally strong enough. But once you hit them teen areas, when you can comprehend everything, the kids like today, like a 14 year old girl is just as smart as a 30 year old one. The only thing that's just going to change is experience in life and things that you might have learned. Learning from trial and error. Yeah. They do all day, 22, 23, 24 year old. That nigga boy, a dope boy. He a dope boy, got yeah. money. That nigga yeah. come over the house. Yeah, yeah. In the room. Everybody. Why they at home eating? Yeah. In the room, beating their little young daughter yeah, up. Exactly. Just in the room, just smashing. He probably feed everybody. Yeah, he go, mama. He go, mama. He go, some, you know, he go $300 on, you know, on the lights and some, you know, yeah. you, you know uh, a carton of uh, Newports. <laughs> <laughs> she happy. Oh, exactly. You know? Yeah, she get jealous. Cause he look good, he, he running off through mama too. Yeah, exactly. Cause mama ain't number 36. Exactly. You know. He's like that now. Yeah. I got a girl, uh, we knew in the project. Her mother is 30. Well actually, she a cousin of uh, one of my best friends. She had her first daughter at 16. Had the second one, so by the time she was 30, her daughter was 15 and she was a grandmother. So it was like, you know. They have it, man. Cycle. It's in that cycle, yeah. though. The people who do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna come around. It's, it's, it's a generational thing, yeah. too. It's a curse. Yeah. You know? Yeah, kids can break it by their own willpower. That's why you can't change you know? it. All the time it changes you is when the grandparents take over. Yeah. When the grandparents take the children, you know. You know yeah. We all have free will, you know. You know, even kids that grow up in that still have a choice to choose out of it. And to make a different choice. But a lot of times, you know. It happens sometimes. I know a girl. You know, some people like that didn't turn out good. I look at myself. Always go bad. You know? That's why you can't. That's why you can't blame nobody for being stuck in the situation that they're in because you got something they have made out of you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. You just got open your eyes. I mean, you look at this like you had kids. Mm -hmm. But you know, growing up from the time that you had kids to before then, that you out the sideline, you were a freak. <laughs> you slept with multiple plenty women. That's right. Your girl before y'all got serious with each other. She, she had about seven, thing, seven different men that she was right. with. What you think your son and your daughter gonna be? 
what's going to be in their jeans. They might not take the same path, but I guarantee you, they're going to have those natural areas that want to be a little freaky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so scared to have a dog. My precious baby girl got straight A's in school, but you know, baby girl, baby girl in the bathroom twerking it up. You know, twerking it up, you know. As soon as she leave the house, then pants pulled up so her cat could have a little camel toe. You know? I don't like that, man. <laughs> well, I got three. I got I got three daughters and a son, bro. My oldest daughter, she finna be 20 uh, New Year's Eve. My other daughter, she just finna turn 19 November 12th. My youngest daughter is 17. My son has just turned 16 September 15th. She's gonna take care of dad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, man, that's some scary. My daughter been with her boyfriend since her freshman year of high school. My middle daughter. Caught them at the house. I well, my older daughter's up. told on me. For real. Snuck in the house, they had sex. Yeah. Hey, what can you do? You don't want your kids to do it, but it happens. You know, as much as you train them not to. All I'm telling my daughter is, yeah. when you bring a nigga around my house, man, you stay in with him. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, exactly. I don't care nothing about all that. Y'all young, y'all gonna make mistakes, but don't be coming up talking about some different boyfriend and all that. We got to leave. Nah, we not doing that. If you leave him, you focusing on school. Yeah. You know and see, when I try to teach them though, even I talk to other kids that I talk to and mentor, mm -hmm. a lot of times I tell young guys, I say, look, come here. Don't worry about being getting a boyfriend right now. Have a lot of male friends. Not yeah. not boyfriend that you that talking about dating and having sex and things like that. Don't worry about that. Just have friends. That way you get to know different people with different characteristics. So when it's actually time for you to start dating, you know, you know what you're looking for. You know what you're looking for in yeah. a, 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 a father. Oh, well, this brother right here taught me, you know, he a player type. He my boy, but I knew not to date him, but he showed me how niggas act in this certain way. Yeah. Okay, this brother over here, he's a gentleman. He's respectful. I look more like this. I got 12 on the field. Who that? Yeah, he got 11 now. Yeah, well, you going to do it over my house. I'm telling her. I'm going to be telling her that's it when she turned about 10 years old, 11 years old. You bring guy over here now. You dead. He's real. Don't bring him over here if you ain't serious. Yeah, serious. Don't bring him to my house if you ain't serious now. I don't get nothing about that. I know what young men do. You know, I've been a young man yeah, before, so you, I, know what you yeah. I know what you about to endure. Yeah, but I'm finna mold you at the house. You know what I'm mean? saying? I'm not saying that I'm gonna make a put over bull crap, but you just gotta have some structure, man. So. But imagine you, 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 you got your daughters, man. Like I got, like I said, my daughters is teenagers. Mm -hmm. You know, pretty much adults now. But they have friends come over. And they got friends come over, you know, want to spend a night and things of that nature. So I got girls over my house, 16, 17 years old, just built like grown women. Because so they run around, you know, little boy shorts and stuff like that in the house. I'm sitting in the living watching TV like, like hey, you can't be doing it. <laughs> I'm a man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And for real, you know. And of course, you know, you look like they're younger, but still, you, that's a natural look. Yeah. That's still an attractive look. Exactly. Girl, you built like a woman, like, what you supposed to do, man? Oh, man. And I coach high school ball, bro. Yeah, you talking know. about? I ain't gonna say this while this camera's know, recording, because this camera record everything he's saying. I'm not serious. I understand, man. I go, I'll be at a college high school football game every Friday night, so you can tell yeah. me. I know. I don't, I don't like I'm on high school campuses all the time. Huh? Yeah. I don't like that little brown shirt. No, 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 but you got you got you got women that can can get away with it. Yeah. yeah but no, you got some women that can't get away with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No bra trend. Uh -huh. You got the spandex and the sundresses with no panties. I'm tired. I, mean, you, I ain't you make, I'm tired. I love it. Cheeks to clap. But, but man, they get it over there. Yeah, your you, you, you lust love it. Yeah. But your integrity say, no, you know, it's not man, right. You know, God's on well, man. It's not right. That'd be pretty good. Yeah, put you in some bad positions, man. Yeah, but see, that, that's the... That's the church, you see that. But that's the hypocritiness of society. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, you can't be lusting after this and doing this and this and that. But you tell women... And all their clothes nowadays, even kids in school, is their clothes are tight. Yeah. Every pair of things that they wear now, there's no dresses no more for girls. All they want to wear is tight jeans. Yeah. Everything is pull it up tight, camel toe fist, shirts, have your belly button showing out. Exactly. You know? All the dancers that say, I mean, but pop I that mean, coochie twerk, exactly. throw, the, throw, the, throw that A in the circle. But you know? to be real with you, though, know, they all, I don't know, man. I don't know 
what 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 we gonna do with the tags for real? You can't. We ain't think about twenty years ago. We get all our shit in for the line. Man, we only fourteen years since then. We can't stand the baby shit. Come on, come on. Then if our dash and kids gonna be able to go back and see her on Ray J. But see, but, but by that time. Hey, porn gonna be out to be regular TV. Be, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's almost yeah, pretty much yeah, half naked I, now. Especially hey, to them kids. You got gay couples on there now. I watch um before I stopped watching it about like about two years ago. I was watching what's that? I used to watch Scandal. Scandal, yeah, yeah. You know, I used to watch that. You know, you had the uh, vice president, his you know, chief of secretary. Yeah, he was gay. Yeah, I know. He had the lover. You show him on there. You show the dude going down on him, giving him head on there. You know, it's like you know, you got gay couple stuff on there. Modern Family, Empire, do it. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, because uh, I had to study in one of my classes where uh, the black male is only like 11% homosexual, mm -hmm. you know, homosexual, yeah. compared to like the white male. Like, yeah. Out of the whole big spectrum. Well, I'm going to tell you something about white men. White people get in there. Yeah. White boys play games. They just trying to throw that on them. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. White, white boys, mm -hmm. white boys have, but yeah, yeah. They ain't going like that. They ain't like that. Yeah, they 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 yeah. grabbing all that stuff like they don't have what they anyway. I'm serious. A white a white women catch their women doing gay right. stuff all the time. They they stay. Did they score a touchdown? No. No. They score a touchdown. No. No. White women catch their women doing all this stuff, man. They stay with them. Yeah, I'm black, black woman gonna have you on Facebook tonight, talking about having a whole Facebook live about you. Everybody in Jackson gonna know you get tonight. You married to a black woman. Don't check the goal line. <laughs> I ain't joking, man. Listen, <laughs> black woman gonna make you feel better. Yeah, she gonna, she gonna. You gonna wish you ain't doing that. Yeah, you know the propaganda. That's all it is, man. Yeah. Come on. The NFL is propaganda. Oh yeah, it's all about money. Male chili, we on the finest too. See what I'm saying? No, it's a white one too. For the Saints, the Saints got it. For real? Yeah. Surprise. Yeah. Oh, I can't. Oh, bro. But you know what? You know what? I have no problem with homosexuality. None of that. Yeah. Everybody live their life. You got the right to choose. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something. Oh, what? When we turn to CBS on Sunday, what we turn to turn for? To watch what? No, on, on Sunday, on Sunday oh, at 12 o'clock. Exactly. So yeah. if we're watching football, if we, we come to, we turn these channels to watch football, I don't want you to focus on homosexuality. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? I don't want to see that. I don't care nothing about I, that. I just can't. He can be there. I don't care nothing about it. But don't focus on this. You feel what I'm saying? Don't make it a focal point. I don't want to hear about that. Uh, I, I mean, it's... Like I said, you know, everybody lives their own lifestyle. Yeah. I, I ain't mad at the brother. I got family members this, Me too, that way, man. but yeah, I don't think. But I don't still think it's wrong. The booty hole is an exit. <laughs> that's, the yeah. that's what I always say. Yeah. But it's just always. It, it, at the same time, I, I you know, I feel <laughs> a little disgusted by it. But at the same time, I laugh at it all the time. Yeah, me too. Okay, because every time I see it, dude, it's like on the way here. I bought the Gatorades. Yeah, yeah Walgreens, and then there the cashier. This gay dude. Yeah. How you doing today? <laughs> You gotta get that long word at the end, yeah. like, okay, you had a good day. Yeah. I'm like, dang, bro. And then you don't want to get, you, you don't give them eye contact. Oh, You're like, hey, how you doing, bro? Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you. And you know, so I just kind of look off. I don't even want to look them in the face, man, because sometimes they kind of give you a look. Like, oh, they give you a yeah, look, like, how you doing? Yeah, they're trying to, they trying to scope you out, like, how you, how a man doing a female. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah, it's the truth me out, bro. I'm like, man, where, I'm, where was that? Chinese place, and the dude just sitting there, and I turn and look. She's like, how you doing? And then oh, his lips, like lips kind of curl up on you. Like, bro. I'm like, I'm like, bro. And I had to put my head down, like. I'm like, man, bro. I swear to God. This dude better not come over here and try to mack on me, bro. <laughs> and I'm trying to hold back because you don't want to laugh at their face yeah. and create a scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you come on here, bro. I'm embarrassed, though. I ain't gonna hey, For real, though, man. Like, I, cause I got a cousin up north that died from AIDS. Yeah. And he was literally a straight up king of, of, of the game. You know? He would literally, like, you know, he can literally, like, you know, he goes around and he can literally, like, he meet dudes. He a flippy. He flip. He can flip you. That's how good he was. Flip you from being straight. Straight. Yeah. Like, what's up? Yeah, that's my boy right there. Yeah, now he cool. He straight. Now he ain't even like me like that. Next week, another. You know, yeah, his name is Twan. You know, his name is just changed. 
I'm telling you, he was that, he was that cold, man. But, it, like I said, it's just, you know. Yeah, and he's glorified now. I don't shoot like that, like at work, in the work environment. You gotta interact with them, you know what I mean? But at the same time, we ain't interacting outside of work. You feel what I'm saying? Again? That's it. You know what I'm saying? I need to hit real clock, bro. Don't call me. Don't, I don't care what. Don't call me. Don't text me. Word. That's great, bro. But we ain't about to chill or none of that. I don't trust him either, though, man. Most of them ain't right, though. I ain't gonna say all of them, but most of them ain't right. I know. They ain't going on right I know. They ain't going on right What's the score out there? Let's go get him, boys! Six, six. In four four. Yeah. How much time? Four minutes. Oh, okay. Hit somebody! Hit somebody! All right, six six in the fourth quarter. Let's go, baby! I just give him part of this example. I say, you know, older men or young girls, it's, it's sort of like this. Yeah. Hey, what time is it, ref? Oh, three minutes. Three, 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 three. So what now? You give, you go to the store. We gotta make I'm comparing an older woman that's just had a lot of different men to a young girl that's fresh. He's like, you go to the store to go shopping, you go in the box of fruit. You look on that stand over there, you got all them nice apples over there, green, red, you know, yellow. You know, Washington, you know, whatever it may be. And they're ripe and pure. But you got another couple of apples over there that's been bitten, bitten on a couple of times. And so, you know, that white meat kind of turns, start turning brown. Which one are you taking off the shelf? Yeah, you're taking that fresh one. You on the right. So, you know, like I said, so a lot of times with men, what do you really want? You want something that you can you want something that you can mold on your own. You want something that you don't want nobody to touch that. Cause you know, okay, yeah, we all date somebody that's been with somebody else before. You know, my, my wife had, you know, a boyfriend before she met me, you know, a couple of them. So that's fine. But, but if you could, you would rather have somebody where you never had to look back and say, hey, what's up, yeah, that's James. Like we used to date a long time ago. Or James, you know, James is my baby daddy of my first two kids. So Yeah, me personally, man, I, I, I never, I never wanted that. No, I don't. It's fully charged right now. I never wanted that in a woman that I was dating that, that she had past love. Because I never wanted to be like, okay, I'm always looking at a brother that yeah, I had that brother. Yeah, yeah it is. I feel you. had a commercial on TV, a condom commercial. And it shows a chick that didn't use the condom. And a dude uh, going there and it shows her past lover. So they be in the room. They're like, hey, how you doing, Jessica? You know, the next thing you know, her past lover is popping like Jane, Dante, Craig, Chris, Jamil, like, you know, Reggie. I don't know where everyone's sitting right with me, I've been in that man position and then, you know, but it does slip back to us as men, though. It's like, how many women have you had? I mean, no, I, don't, but I, don't want, I don't want to put her in a position where I don't want to be in that position either, though. You know yeah, exactly. I ain't gonna put her in that type of position. Let's go, let's go. For real. Oh, I 
You can get shot by cheating man. around, messing around with somebody, girl, man, or, or catch a disease. Yeah, exactly. Your life can get easy, set man. up. Exactly. It's a lot of ways. Quick, oh, eventually, man, you know what I'm saying? People got, you know, everybody got a little animal. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, life make you slow down. Man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I've been there before, bro. It's like, that's my testimony, man. Yeah, I, I, I may have been out there before, so now it's like, you know, you get tired of that point of man, like always trying to hide your phone. Yes, you gotta keep it locked. You always, you don't gotta lie about this to make an excuse to get somewhere. And as much as you say you're doing it for the fun of it, sooner or later if you mess around with it too, too long enough, you end up catching get feelings. Your feelings man. You know, and you ain't gonna be wanting to let them just go like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then you in a marriage or a relationship. Yeah. So now you got two, now you got ties with somebody else. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? So you out doing your thing. The next thing you know, Bruce at your house. That wasn't like you doing that, like, man. That's what's going to happen. You got a relationship or a marriage and all that, man. Your patterns are so, so much the same. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We ego-driven. Yeah. You know, like, I do like I always, uh, Eddie Murphy says. So let's say you go to, you you you, you come home. And you're like, sneaking off on your girl. Yeah. And you catch a girl in a deal with a dude. And so, you know, you, you kick him out. But dude get up off your girl and next thing you know he pulling the slab about your girl, you know. There's the whole rear, this whole arm, this whole body. You know, how, how you gonna feel as a dude though? I'm telling you, you know, it's like okay. There's all this side stuff they gotta get out there, man. You know, the side stuff, man, it kind of matters to, like, to, a lot of times to a man's ego. You know, you want to be the king of your castle. And you don't want that crown, your crown, to fit another man's head. Because if another man put a bigger head on that crown, the crown ain't going to fit your head no more. Yeah, nah. <laughs> you don't want it, bro. Uh, yeah, nah, you know, it's man, I'm telling you, bro. Me and our ego drift. Well, like that's what I mean. Women cry about love, men want respect. Man, for real. That's all it is. I mean, that's I mean that's that's what that's what the whole Cause it's, we, we animal. Built different. That's what all animals. We're you know the what givers. Saying? We're the givers. They're the receivers. Exactly. So it's not built the same. So I, I tell women like this all the time. See, you can Your man can go out. Cheating is different. A woman can go out and cheat on your girl. You can go out and cheat right. on your girl. Yeah, you come home, if you don't smell like the other woman, she can't tell by by your thing because it's the same Johnson that she been getting. Yeah. So she know that. But if your girl go out and she another wraps, Johnson, out, yeah, like, yeah, you know, somebody, you know, push another hole back on it yeah. and come back. That's a whole different cat that you're coming home to. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They going back and forth. Four eight, four eight, four eight. Oh, you got a long time. Use the time out. Come on, man. Time out now. Hey, don't out. Hey, don't tell him out. Hey, don't tell him out. Hey, South, South, South. Oh, there you go. What's his name? I wonder who that was over there. 
Man, what up, Trev? Hey, Trev! 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 What up, man? I believe y'all have to say that. Here we go, though. Real. Larry Jefferson. Where you from? He's from Gainesville. He's from Gainesville. Man, the door is all gas in the floor. But he ain't gonna get in trouble with him. I swear you can look at him, too. Look. For that. We from Cap Cocaine? Oh, we out there with the, uh... Let's go! Let's go! See that year we had my quest prank. We had a real stack. What 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 the only thing you say from? Man, the guy was. And you say what? We went out there. We went out there. We got kicked out. From Mahina. Oh okay. Yeah, all right. A lot of people are doing what they want to do. Like we was talking about. That's rare, man. Hey, what? You're an athlete. Yeah, that's a good time. Got some money out there, smoke powder. I mean, smoke powder, but you don't got too many athletes in the booth. So you can look at Odell and probably miss with him. Let's go! 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 let us Yeah, I think they worked on it a little bit. 
Behind Northwest? Yep. Oh, the 49. Yep. I ain't know no, I ain't know college football game. I think they go somewhere else too. I think they actually use Ridgeland, Ridgeland and the high school too. Yeah, Ridgeland High School or something like that. Yeah, I ain't gonna go there. I ain't gonna go there. Going to overtime with the score tied 6-6? Huh? Dang. Shit, we gonna be at 8 o'clock. We're gonna do 8 games. Give me two lightning strikes real quick. I just missed a call from my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Try to come back and tie it back in or take the lead. Deals, huh? Get the victory. Yeah, that's all the baby. Man, for real. AJ Brown didn't get awful by Mississippi State baseball team. He got drafted. Hey, look at him. And this man got drafted. Yo, that's the ball. Go, no, tap the ball. 
I would have, if I was a football coach, I would have been telling the baseball coach, man, you got to get this kid a scholarship so, for me, man. So, I got to get this kid on campus, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, you got to, just let him, just let him be on the team. <laughs> just let him be on the team. That's all you got to do. Let him say, yeah, let him say he just put a jersey on. That's what Jamie Winston did at Florida State. Put a jersey on him. Let's go, baby! Yeah. Let's go, all right, that Jimbo Fisher said, man, we'll just get him down here, man. We'll put him on the baseball team. Yeah. We'll put him on the team. Don't worry about that. Hey, that was something, though. Yeah, I'm thinking we need a touchdown. Let's go, baby. We'll take it on DAT. Get that ball. All right. I'm going to wait because I got two semesters left. All right. So I'm going to take it about two or three times. I'm going to take it once in the fall. And I'm, I'm going to take it once in the spring, once in the fall, and I might try it. Over time. One more time, man. Something there you go. Time time first play. Yeah. Yes, for about a yard. Time yourself, too. I'm a study, man. I'm just a place on the way when they train for this. Yeah. It's called, oh, I gotta get it. Nine, you know, they train for all type of tests. They got teaching, like, um, tests for teachers, ECAT, MCAT, all of it. They train you for it, and then you go take it. You know, they guarantee you a pretty good score. It's called, man, I can't think of it. You ever heard of before? Yeah. 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 Um, I, I have it. I don't know. My uncle might. I think he's just like this. But I'm willing to pay to get a good score, though. Uh, right. like like the school tests? Huh? It's the school tests and Yeah, like PCATs, MCAT. Huh. Stuff to get a man's school, dental school, and stuff like that. That's what I'm talking about! We got an interception. All right, score a touchdown. That's tie game. And the Sharks would an extra point and we would go to double or time. Let's get this point! Oh, oh, oh. We don't need to walk one. We can go for the war and get it. It's tied up 12 12. We can go for the one and get it. We Go to double overtime. They stop him. Uh, no, they stop him from scoring. Uh, I don't know if they're going to do a middle overtime. I'm going to call it. They don't want it. They don't want it. They don't want it. I call it, but they want it. I'm going to get on the field. I don't know what to do. Get him out of the field. Huh? I'm going to get him out of the field. I'm going to get him out of the field. I ain't feeling it no more, man. You get cussed out that, man, I might cuss you back. It's military. He wanted to coach him. He uh, yeah, was yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 more hyped up dude. That's a motivated team. That's what they be doing. Oh, you wait to see if we going to double over time. Score tied 12-12. Twelve, twelve. A little controversy on the extra point by the Sharks. <laughs> Hey, Booby. Man, 
strikes in here in this overtime. Yeah, it had a rain delay, had lightning strikes. Games you know, had postponed for half an hour. Now back on the field, got a little controversy with the little overtime. On the extra point to see if this team won or not. So they're arguing with the refs and throwing them out there trying to get it situated. So we're waiting on that to finish off this last game. With the A team or whatnot. So that's why it's taking so long. But my phone is in the truck for me and get my message. No, they don't call you a Usually it was it'd be like between need, six and nine, block, but all the teams need, are were, and here in Jackson with no road games. So yes, you all of them came to play here today. Cause all home games today. Yeah, I only got one. Six teams. Teams it's six teams, but you remember you got there each each team might have a uh, three or four teams. So the first game with West Jackson and the Saints, you know, just A, B, and C. Uh, Ducks and uh, Yazoo. No, I'm sorry, first Jackson Saints is A, B, C, D. Then Yazoo and the Ducks is A, B, C. Now this is the Sharks, A, B, and C. So that's four, seven. Oh, yeah, they're going in another overtime. Four, seven, ten, ten, like, yeah, ten, eleven. So it's like total eleven today, something like that. Okay. So yeah, we in double overtime. Both teams scored, so. They ready to quit! You know. I say they just score again. Huh? Let's go, baby! You get called after this. If nobody scored, then it's a draw. So the Sharks just fumbled. The Bucks got the ball and they got the opportunity to score. They score, they win. If they don't, it goes to draw on both teams. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, baby! B team. It's the end of Let's the B team. Go, baby. It was at halftime. Huh? No. Yeah, that's what we were waiting on. We came back after the rain, after the lightning, to, to do the second half of the B. And A, I'm hoping that it actually lightened again so that we can just go ahead and postpone the A game. We went to the outside. You good? Did he say? What did he say? He stopped at the one? He stopped him right at the inch of our line, so it's second and goal. Crazy. We actually got visiting teams out here checking us out for the city to leave and stuff. So, huh? How long you been at the house? If you go to that outside, it's you. Turn it up, baby! Yeah, okay. yeah. We just got it. It just scored overtime. The Bucks win in overtime. So, you can see him out there. You can hear it. <laughs> yeah! That's all right, stop! Yeah, that one's That's over, right. so. I'll be home within about an hour and 20 minutes, I guess. What you eat? I sure would think about the little $5 box. Oh, shut up. I could get a five dollar box, but it looks like Keyshawn ate all of it. Oh, okay. What is it? What? Huh? Okay, well, when you get through, I'll hit you right back up, bro. All right, 
go to overtime and the Bucks win 12 2 6 in double overtime. Next up, Bucks and Sharks 18 in his late game.